Hey guys, hey, Boston Van back with a mail day video. Um, received this in the mail today and I know what it is. It is a large lot of 1959 tops that I purchased online um, for my 1959 top set build. I'll include in the description a link to the website where I track, essentially I created a checklist and, and put pictures of the cards that I have. Um, and this lot should double. I think right now I have 18.1% of the set. Um, I have all the mantles, I have Kofax, um, and then I'm starting to work on some of the other Hall of Famers you've seen some videos previously. This was a lot of mostly commons, there are a couple Hall of Famers in it. I've loosened the tape, but I have not checked it out, so I figured I'd make a video. I know, two days in a row, kind of crazy for me. Uh, make a video and, and do an unboxing, um, kind of on camera. So... They come somewhat poorly packaged, but they are in soft sleeves. Okay. So I guess I'll pull the stacks out. You can see there's just stacks of 59s. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to leave comments that the cars weren't secured. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, they're not... They're Whoa. They're, you know, basically just stacked in here. Um, but they are soft sleeves, so perhaps they turned out okay. But we're going to take a look. Um, that's it. The box is empty. I don't need the box anymore. Um, these mostly are, well now they're not probably, but a lot of them were in like sequential order. So we've got, let's put this up here, Pete Daly. So they're in decent condition from what I could see from the scan. Some not as great. I think I have Pete Daly. I'm going to put him to the side. Bill Bruton. Duke Maas. Carol Hardy. I might have had him, but I'm going to include him in my pile. Ted Abernathy. Gene Woodling, Willard Schmidt, Kansas City A's team checklist, kind of beat up, but good for the set. It is marked on the back. Bill Mabouquet, I know I didn't have him. Pitching partners, Ramos and Pascal. Who's Ramos? Pedro Ramos. Dick Williams, Hall of Famer. Okay, condition. Jim Pendleton, kind of beat up. Ray Moore, some soft, I mean, most of these will have soft corners, but that's 59. Hank Foyles, 294. Billy Martin, I believe that's the Billy Martin, it is. It's a nice addition. Ernie Braglio, rookie card, I have that. Jackie Brandt, Tex Clevenger, I have him. And I'll obviously double check those to see. And here's one, Richie Ashburn, Hall of Famer, slight crease right there. Um, but this is a nice addition to quote, and it was listed as commons. Um, this is a card that I'd pay probably a few dollars for, so take that off. I paid a total of $93 for all of these, um, which comes out to obviously less than a dollar a card, which is nice for 59 Don Mossy and his amazing ears. Marty Kioff, he signs TTM, but these are not TTM cards. Cubs team card, huge crease, which I didn't see, um, and it is marked. Kurt Radin, Jim Gilliam, nice Dodgers card. I also like the pink background. Kurt Barclay with a pinhole in it. Norm Seaburn looks pretty good. Sal Magley, the barber. Norm Zachin, Don Newcomb. Frank House, a little beat up. Don Cardwell, Joe Adcock, decent player during his time. Ralph Luminetti. Here's Mays Ashburn, which is very rough, some creasing. I now have two of these in poor condition. Uh, Rocky Bridges, a little bit of fading there. Ozzy Virgil, Casey Wise, poor centering there. George Strickland, Dave Hellman. So, so far, a decent stack. I'll put the stack back there. I have cards new to my set build. If you can see the numbers, 260, 59, 15, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53. Like I'm getting a nice run 
out of these. Uh, Willie Jones, Lenny Green. If he's still alive, he's TTMs. Ed Bailey, a little bit of crease in the corner. Bob Blaylock, Jim Rivera signed. Bob Skinner, which did not show up. That is heavily creased. Ick. Dick Gray, Solis, Ned Garver was a great signer when he was alive. Gia Lombardo, JW Porter, he signs. That's creased. Ferrase, Red Sox team checklist, which I've been looking for. That's not in the worst shape, rounded corners and stuff. Unmarked, that's nice. Bobby Adams, Billy O'Dell was a good signer. Cleet Boyer, Ray Boone, Seth Moorhead, Zeke Bella, Del Ennis, Leon Wagner, Fred Kipp is a good signer. Jim Lemon, Jim Pisoni, early win, another Hall of Famer. One that I've been looking at recently, so this is another card that I would pay about five dollars for. Back is clean, um, actually pretty decent condition. That's a nice addition as well. Hall of Fame TTMer Bobby Shantz, which is a, such a nice card. Not going to TTM. Cardinals team checklist. I think this one's marked. No, it's not marked. That's nice. Um, a little bit of smudge there, but. Otherwise, decent condition. Chuck Lone, Chuck Asijin, says the rookie. That might be Chuck Asijin's rookie. He's good TTMer. I think he's good for one par. Randy Johnson, Frank Bowling. I have Walt Craddock, R.C. Stevens, Russ Heeman, Joe Cunningham. While he was living, he was an amazing Hall of Famer. A little bit of color loss right there. Dean Stone. I don't think I have some smudge there. Don Zimmer. A little bit of hairline crease right there. So basically what I'm doing is I'm building the set for my kids. Chuck Daughter with a lot of paper loss. That's going to go in there. I don't know if I count that. Johnny Cux was a good signer when he was alive. Wes Covington, crease right across the middle. Claude Austin, rookie card. Love to send this in to get signed, but nope. Johnny Logan was a good signer while he was alive. I have this card signed. Don Gross, Vic Power. Who had some power. 10 home runs every year. Bill Fisher, I think he's signing now. He gave up Ted Williams' 500th home run. Alice Burton, Eddie Casco, former, he was on the 61 Reds, who went to the World Series. He was also a former manager of the Red Sox. Hank Bauer, which I was excited to get, but again, the pictures weren't great. This one came pretty creased. Paul Foytek, I have. Billy Muffet. So that's a good stack of cards that I can use. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm kind of disappointed with some of the creasing, but I bid on it or put an offer in. Um, I have this card signed. Ted Bowsfield, good TTMer. Marv Grissom. I have uh, I have this already, so run preventers. And I don't know, 10 years ago, you could have gotten all three of these guys. So I might try to sell it. I also might send it to Bobby Richardson. He He's still TTMs. Gene Baker, Bob Trowbridge I have, Gene Stevens I like this one because I believe this is Fenway Park. Joe Jay, love the old Milwaukee. Johnny Groth, I may have him. No, I don't think I have him. Jerry Kindle was a good TTMer. Bob Bowman I know I have. Jack Sanford, Bud Daly, he signs. Joe Carrasco, Ron Klein, Woody Held, Lonsky, Tito Francona, Terry's dad. He was a great TTMer as well. Jack Mayer, Orlando Pena, rookie card. Andre Rogers, Jerry Lumpy was a good TTMer. It's always good to get like a 50s Yankees card. Carl Erskine, of course, is a great TTMer. Roman Mejias. See, some of these guys I don't remember if they're alive. He was a good TTMer. Drew Zuvernick, Frank Malzone, while he was alive, was an excellent TTMer. Same with Frank Sullivan. Preston Ward, I might have. Johnny Briggs, Ruben Amaro, Don Rudolph. Bob Porterfield, Milgraf. Stu Miller was very good. He gave up Mickey Mandel's 500th home run. Harvey Haddix, pretty decent shape. Jim Busby, Mud Cat Grant, Je Mud Cat Grant just passed away. He was okay signer uh, with a $5 fee. Juan Pizarro passed away within the last year. He was a really good signer as well. Bill Verdon is still a good signer. That card is really nice, not centered. Russ Kemmer, I think I have this card signed. Good TTMer. Sammy Taylor. Is that creased? No, just 
some moss. Jim Brosnan, Rip Rapulski, Billy Morin still signs. Jim Davenport was a great signer. Leo Kiley, I have. Tom Acker. So those are the 59s. Um, I don't know what kind of feedback I'm going to leave. What do you guys think? They were really loose in the box. I don't think it affected the condition at all. So if there's like one of those things to put stars for condition, I may knock them down a one star. But I don't want to be a jerk. Um, it's four that I pulled out that I don't know that I want to count. But I could, and then just update. Just um, look for replacements later. This Bob Skinner, I don't know if you can see it, but that white, that white mark all the way across is a crease. Um, the Hank Bauer. I don't know if I can get a good... Yeah, you guys can kind of see the creasing right across. Without the light, it looks really nice. And then there's a print mark there. Wes Covington, which I was excited about because I like Milwaukee. Um, take it out, maybe you can see it better. Yeah, there it is, crease right there. And then the Chuck Daughter, there's no creases. But, I mean, it shows its age. Right, there's color loss on it. And then the backs all seem pretty good. So I'll probably count them and then when I finish the set, and I will finish it at some point, um, then I'll go through and see like what cards do I need to replace. I think it's the cheapest way to do it. But the backs all look pristine. You know, I'm gonna have some cards, and I'm not looking for a, you know, a set that would PSA or would would grade anything in particular. Um, so I got to be okay with condition issues. Um, a lot of doubles. Actually, put that back in there because I have to see which one's better. And I think this one might be better. The other one I have has a pinhole in it. This one's got creasing through Ashburn, but I'm going to count that because that's a 59 maze that I paid less for, less than a dollar for. So I can't complain about that. Um, overall, that's a I mean, that, that's a nice stack into my collection um, of 59s and essentially doubles. Now I'm going to, I have them all in a, like a, a box that have them in little containers and I have too many now. I got to find a new box for my 59s because this is going to put me over 200 cards in the set. It's a 572 card set um, and this is going to double my my total. Uh, anyway, it's a long video of mail unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of the cards. Is there anything I should say to the seller? And do you guys put together vintage sets? I want to know what. I've already kind of thought ahead of like when I finish 59, where do I want to go? I think I want to go to 1960 and, and complete that set. I have almost none from that set, so it'd be a bottom up buy and trade and all that stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Just an unboxing video. Um, I appreciate everything, and I will talk to you guys again soon.